Um, a little bit to know about the computer then and uh, the interactive whiteboard. It consists of three parts. You've got the obvious part, the interactive whiteboard, which is this big square thing at the front. Um, the interactive whiteboard um, is not like an iPad. It doesn't actually know what you're touching. The iPad's quite clever. You can touch it and it knows where your finger is. Um, the reason it doesn't know where your finger is is because it's attached to a computer and the computer's over here. Um, and the computer does all of the processing and stuff. Um, <coughs> there's also a third part, the projector over there. So when you come into um, any classroom um, with an uh, interactive whiteboard in, make sure you know where the computer is, where the projector is, and where the whiteboard is. Only one of them will be obvious. When I go into class, I always bring my own keyboard in. Um, it doesn't matter, you know, um, what keyboard you bring particularly, but I kind of like to have a keyboard that's infrared. Um, and the idea of this is that if, um, if they do put my computer over in the corner, I can take my infrared keyboard and I can go around and I can do this. And it scares the hell out of the children when you do this in your pocket or behind your back. Because um, they wonder how you've managed to Jedi mind control <laughs> all, of the, um, all of the stuff across the board. It's, um, it's, it's really handy. So um, if you know you're going to be using the interactive uh, uh, whiteboard, go and buy yourself an uh, a, uh, infrared keyboard and mouse. Because it's, it's 50 quid, but it's 50 quid well spent because you won't have to take a child to hospital with compass wounds. Okay, um, so make sure you know how to turn your computer on. Like I say, they'll probably be in the wrong place. So make sure that you figure out where your computer is first and work out how to turn it on. Not that obvious. Turning on the projector, again, is sometimes not that obvious as well. Over here um, in the university, we've got this little button here that says display on and display off. And that's really useful because it turns my, my uh, projector on. In classrooms, however, chances are your projector will be attached to the ceiling, the children will have stolen the remote control, and you will need to stand on a table, on a chair on a table, to turn the, uh, the thing on with your finger. Normally I get the children to do this, but apparently I'm not supposed to do that. <laughs> 